guys, welcome to another episode of MrLopezClasset.com and uh, this is uh, a special class today because uh, we are in the chapter number three of uh, our course of uh, uh, composite materials, marine composite materials. We follow uh, our book of uh, marine composites. This is chapter three about the creation of the blocks and the molds. And uh, the block, in my opinion, is uh, is the most important part in the design of a, of a boat. Uh, this is the part where uh, the naval architects, the, the marine engineers, the designers, uh, put in the paper the idea, the idea of uh, the creator. The creator talked with them, explained what is the idea, and they they design, they they put on the paper exactly my idea. Those are the designers, naval architects, mechanical engineers, designers, artists. This is the, the first idea to create the, the plug. And the plug is the number one, the part number one in this chain of production. Yes, with this design, with this symmetric, with this perfect geometry, is created the plug and the plug is fabricated with the different pieces of uh, aluminum foam clay those those elements are used those materials are used to fabricate with with hands because it's by hand in some cases with the uh, printers uh, 3 3d printers but uh, in general in this uh, industry a lot of uh, hand sound is used to the creation of the first element, the plug. Wood, a lot of foam, other pieces of uh, uh, soft materials are used to produce the plug. When the plug is finished like this, the plug will be covered with a special gel coat, tooling gel coat later, we are going to talk about that. That gel coat is, uh, is elastic. Uh, it's not crack, and uh, after that, that gel, that gel coat completely polished will be covered with the wax in order to avoid in the process of uh, separation of the mold. This is the plug. With the plug, I am going to create the mold, and with the mold, I am going to reproduce hundreds of uh, pieces, thousands of pieces. Yes, the plug is for one time. Normally the plug, when you finish the plug and you create the mold, the plug is destroyed. Because you don't need the plug and that, that plug occupies a big space. Normally it's destroyed because you don't need the plug again. If you have the mold, now with the mold you can create more and more and more pieces. Yes, this is a, a lot of investment, a lot of money in one element, the plug. The, the, the geometry, the symmetric of the plug is the most important part. After that, if you have a good mold, it's because the plug was perfect. That's, that's the, the most important part. And today, in this uh, particular video, we are going to be concentrated in the creation, in the fabrication of uh, the plug for hatches. You remember, we are working in the panga the wonderful panga of uh, Mr. Rodriguez is a creation of a real local marine. Uh, they are creating uh, a panga of uh, 14 feet, and uh, the next step is uh, the 24, the 21 feet. Okay, in this moment, in that project, they are in the creation of uh, the blocks for the hatches. The different hatches on the deck, on the cap, uh, and this is the, the creation of the block. And uh, we are going to talk right now with uh, Dani Rodriguez about the materials, uh, the geometry, uh, how important are those factors in the creation uh, of uh, the plug, specifically in this case for the hatches. Uh, today, Dani, we are going to talk about the, the creation of the plugs uh, for the, the hatches. Right. It's a big job, no? It's yeah, it's a it's a hideous process. Uh, only for the reason is uh, everything has to be perfect. If uh, everything is not perfect, 
what happens is all the imperfections will show up every time you produce the product. So making the, the plug is basically has to be dead on and then what we're going to do is you get a uh, set all the hinges, all the, all the dimensions, and then at the end we prime it and then we tool gel coat it and then we put material in the tool gel coat so we make an inverted piece to make the mold. Correct, correct. In order to create the hatchet we need to create the plug and this, is, this episode is dedicated to the plug, used to the plug. And uh, it's, uh, it's a lot of work because uh, it should be uh, symmetric Yes. Uh, 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 it's symmetrically perfect. perfect, the dimensions have to be per perfect, also when the hatches go in, all the space all the way around the hatches have to be perfect. Like this. Like, like the video exactly. you see on top. And then what happens is if it's perfect, when you open the hatches, nothing rubs. Correct. For that reason, the angles, those angles ah, should be perfect. This is a part of this episode we are going to explain how to make uh, those uh, specific angles. Yeah, uh, it's a lot of work, no? Yeah, and the angles also are important because when you're taking the, the, mold, uh, the mold off the plug, if it's not at an angle, it'll stick. So if it has an angle, it pops out a lot easier. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, what is the first step to create those plugs? So on the videos you see in the beginning, we actually take a piece of uh, uh, wood, and then uh, you'll see the process of the lamination that like you see in uh, the pictures. Okay, all right. And then uh, once we make that, then we set it in there, make the dimensions, sand it. We put uh, pieces because we went the height. Uh -huh. Because if our, our hatches are going to be, you could take a stick and it will not, you won't feel the hatcher. Oh, like yeah, floor. yeah, yeah. Okay, all but right. But then, but you got to remember, this is just the plug, so you have to also compensate for material. So some, sometimes it's not 100% until we put the material on. So obviously in the other pictures and the other videos that we have, you see where you already put like the filler. Uh -huh. uh, you really don't use filler on the, on the boat, only to make the plug to make the design because you're just duplicating the design in a plug form. Oh, wow. Wow. So it's, it's, it's a lot of work. It, in, 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 in these hatches, this is not... You, you can't have this machine made because a machine can make the hatches. Yeah, it's handmade. This is handmade because it's the details. The machines yeah, can't do the yeah. details. And uh, our, what we're striving for is a perfect boat uh, with all the dimensions symmetrically perfect, all the angles perfect. So it just takes work. So this really, uh, Galito, when you see him in the video, the guy who's producing the plus yeah. for us, uh, it's an art. It's a no, skill. It's, it's a skill. An it's, a, it's an art that, that takes time, patience, knowledge, and experience. Uh, he's an art and uh, he is an artist. He is an artist. He's Carlitos. He's a, Carlitos for me, artist. he's an artist. Uh, he's a, a lot of knowledge, uh, too much patience, because this business is passion, no? Yeah, you need fiberglassing, repeat and boats, repeat. Oh, wow. it's patience, because not only do you have to have patience on the angle, you have to have patience to wait for the material to dry, yeah, 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 you yeah, have to uh, have the dimensions properly, and, and you'll see like the pictures and the videos that the steps that we take, it just takes a long time. So those hatches, just to make those hatch plugs is taking almost two weeks. I am impressed how important, this is just the plug uh, to create the hatches, yeah. but uh, how important is the angle? And you can see in that uh, it's a small uh, video that we have uh, on, the, uh, on the screen right now, uh, uh, they, he create uh, like a pattern. Uh, to check that the angle is equal, no? It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's... we actually use a hinge as a template. Oh, and then yeah. you see in the video, we actually put a wire because we want the exact space. You, you see that exactly, that one. That now we, when yeah. you saw that, we sanded this. Now we're making the form. But we're going to show you how to see how there's a lot of imperfections. And then we're going to make it look like this. Is this what it looks like when it's dry and sanded a little bit? We still need to do the borders. But yet, do the sand that area. Here's the hinge. He uses the sandpaper on the hinge to do the sanding, so it's perfect. And then he'll do the edges. So you were gonna watch him duplicate that one over here. And that's a hinge that he's doing it to make his temple. Also, if you look on the hinge, we put a, a wire, 14 gauge wire, to give us the space that we want. So when this is in here, you have that perfect space all the way around. This is what it looks 
like without it, it so this is how it looks so it won't it won't hit see it doesn't hit so we're going to duplicate that over here okay si yo dolo así me queda mal tu ves okay so he's uh, basically what we're showing here is if you fold the tape, you see the imperfections at the top, but then we duplicate those imperfections in here. So that's why we don't fold the tape. So we're going to redo it. <clears throat> These are the little details that uh, most people don't know and why they people do things the way they do. So that's what it looks like. So that's how we're going to use it. Okay. What it looks like. This is what we're trying to make. It's making the impression. It's pushing down. See the imperfect see the the impression? Now he folds it over. You gotta make the impression first for it to make the correct look. See? It's not, not that many imperfections. There will always be a little bit, but for the most part, the majority of it's out. See how it's falling its form? Now we can use that as to make our template. So he put tape on the hinge part so we don't get any of the material on the hinge part because these are good hinges. Piece of wire, if this is 14? Yes, yeah, 14 gauge wire glued to the end of the hinges. So that way when we put the paste and we put the hinge in there, it gives me that space. So when exactly, I take Exactly, that one. Right. And, and you see that uh, now uh, Carlitos put the, the ruler over there and it's completely flat, no? Flat, yeah. It's absolutely. completely flat. And when he removed the wire, you see, in this moment, he removed the wire, ah, the hinge is located exactly in the middle of, uh, of the space. Uh, it's symmetric. Yeah. Both of them, you see the other one in the other side, exactly the same. Yeah, and you see it's actually with the, with the wire it makes it symmetrically the same distance all the way around the edge. Yeah. Uh, uh, this is, uh, this is uh, in the future the different in, in a regular boat in an, your boat that is an expensive boat yes. with a lot of details. That's right? why not every boat has recessed hinges. Correct. Because it takes a lot of time and effort and money to make it because it, it takes, the, it's taken them almost over two weeks to make the hatch just the plug and that including making the mold correct, or making correct, that. Correct. So realistically to make those hatches I think by the end of the day when we're completely done it'll take probably uh, almost three weeks three to, make, weeks. to make those hatches and thank God we only have like four hatches. Four hatches, oh wow. And uh, uh, n now the hatch is uh, completely sanded. Uh, what is the next step? We are going to paint it? Yeah, so so yes, so today, uh, which you see in the video, we're going to start priming and getting it ready for the tooling job. Uh, for the tooling job. Yes. And the, the next step is another episode that we are going to do, is uh, how to paint the tooling job. Uh, and after that, we are going to... Yeah, we let that set and dry, and then basically, we got to put about 13 hands of wax. Uh -huh. And then right before we paint it, we spray it down with PVA, which PVA is like another film additional on top of it's the... It's other, other wax. Yeah, right? it's another wax, but it's a film that's sprayed oh, okay. on like a paint. And help in the in the, the, for the release. Oh, oh, for the release. Okay. That's, that's, that's very, very important. That's why in, a, in, in, in this specific case, the block for the hatches, the separation in between, in between the hatch and, and, the, and the mold should be perfect, should be exactly the same, equal symmetrical this is uh, the difference between an expensive boat good quality boat and other boat with uh, not too much uh, specific considerations about design we are going to check how should be those separations in between the block and the mold i just want to show you once it's sanded to a certain point that we actually have spaces so we have a space so when it's open it doesn't rub it'll be something like that so that's the, that was the angle that you saw in the previous video showing that and then once we have every this all should be equal here 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 and over there will all be equal once it's all sanded perfectly so now we're checking to make sure that it all fits the same look all even all's the same 
with the stick steer so they all have the same same thing that's why we had to sand and have that angle so when you lift the hatch up it doesn't uh, hit the the hull the, the cap great this is the explanation uh, of uh, mr rodriguez about the uh, dose separation great and another important thing is the inclination, the angles of the plug. If, if the plug doesn't have those inclination, after that, remove, separate the mold is impossible. How is uh, the recommendation, uh, the jigs, uh, the patterns uh, that uh, they fabricate uh, for those inclinations? Uh, we're here on uh, Extreme Pangas, and we're gonna show you how to make all the, uh, the hatches even with the corners in the right angle. So here, we, here's what it looks like, uh, and he's gonna move it down. Let him whip off. He's moving it down. So where it needs work is where we know where to find it by using using this template. And on top of that, if you notice, the template has an angle downwards. Okay. So the reason the reason for the template has a, a little bit of angle is so when it's in the hatch and it opens the door. It opens the door. This part down here doesn't rub on the floor. So it's got to be at a slight angle. So that way it doesn't rub. Okay? So that's the purpose of it. So that way when he has that angle, we make the right angles. And all the hatches, all the hatches back there, will also have it. Because what happens is if we don't do that, what happens is when he opens the door, it hits. See how it's hidden? So we gotta make all the angles correctly in order for that so that you all open the same way. This is what it has to be precision perfect and that's what we're doing now. Wonderful, no? And now, how is uh, the space where the hinges are, will be located? Part making the hatches, another video, I don't know which number, Avro, but in any case, now we, we you saw that we sanded this. Now we're making the form, but we're gonna show you how to see how there's a lot of imperfections, and then we're gonna make it look like this. Is this what it looks like when it's dry and sanded a little bit? We still need to do the borders, but yet do the sand that area. Here's the hinge. He uses the sandpaper on the hinge to do the sanding so it's perfect and then he'll do the edges so you were gonna watch him duplicate that one over here and that's a hinge that he's doing it to make his template so also if you look on the hinge we put a, a wire 14 gauge wire to give us the space that we want so when this is in here you have that perfect space all the way around this is what it looks like without it and so this is how it looks so it won't it won't hit see it doesn't hit we're going to duplicate that over here. Okay. Okay. So he's telling, uh, basically what we're showing here is if you fold the tape, you see the imperfections at the top, but then we duplicate those imperfections in here. So that's why we don't fold the tape. So we're going to redo it. <clears throat> These are the little details that uh, most people don't know and why they people do things the way they do. That's what it looks like. So that's how we're going to use it. Okay. This is what it looks like. This is what we're trying to make. It's making the impression. It's pushing down. See the imperfection. See the, the impression? Now he folds it over. Got to make the impression first for it to make the correct look. See? It's not, not that many imperfections. It will always be a little bit, but for the most part, the majority of it's out. See how it's falling its form? Now we can use that as to make our template. So he put tape on the hinge part so we don't get any of the material on the hinge part. Because these are good hinges. So right now we're going to use a filler to fill it up. Now he's going to put hardener on it. Put hardener. So 
he's got to mix it up really good so it's all one color that there's not two different colors. That's when you know when you have the paste that's mixed correctly. It's all one color. So he filled it completely and now he's going to use the template. Watch. And he holds pressure for a little bit, let it dry. So now it's a little bit tacky. So we gotta let it dry a little bit more, but you can see it's tacky. We need to dry a little bit more because what we do is we cut off the excess with the razor blade. What's on the razor blade? So we're gonna cut the excess with his razor blade. process of bringing this that we did from before to bring it to its final stage which basically we need to sand this a little bit more but we're going to show you how we got to this part and then we'll sand this and you'll see how we make it perfect so that's what we're going to do now Sandpaper to do all the little edges. Angle. And, it, and also to give it an angle. It needs an angle so that way it'll pop out uh, when we make the plug, the, the mold will pop out. And then we do the inversion of that back into the hatch. So there's different techniques how to use sandpaper. You know, here's one technique. And you're going to see a couple more things that are going to surprise you to get the perfect, perfect, symmetrically as much as possible. Wonderful, guys. Uh, this is uh, the process to produce the block. Now the blocks uh, are ready. Uh, we are going to finish uh, the, f the last layer of those uh, blocks with the uh, Yelko, uh, Tulin Yelko, and after that we are going to cover with wax to produce the mold for those hatches. <laughs>